What's going on guys, my name is Mr. Dalek JD, and in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to complete the new easter egg for season 6 of Warzone. Completing this will unlock a secret hidden train station and includes a secret easter egg weapon unlock. If you find this guide useful let me know in the comment section and feel free to leave a thumbs up. The first step involves you dropping into a certain building in downtown which you can see here on the map. It has the word downtown above it so you can't miss it. It's a square building with a dome on top. Once you're in the gallery behind the main desk is going to be a keypad on the wall to the left you want to put in the code 2179 this will begin a 60 second countdown where you need to complete the next step in time otherwise you'll die as the room is slowly filling up with gas directly opposite is going to be a computer which you'll want to interact with as you can see here once i click enter password it's going to flash four different images and then either a numerical additional number or a minus number now this may seem really vague at first but i'm going to break this down very easily for you these are showing four parts of different paintings around this gallery room. Now, before I go any further, let me show you where every painting is. So in this main room where we just activated the keypad and computer, there are two paintings. First is in the front left corner. It's a painting of someone with a satchel. This is very important. And right opposite is a painting of someone with a load of medals on their chest. We take a left from that painting and go inside this room. We see a painting of a haunted house. Just opposite that is a painting of someone wearing some very unique shoulder pads, which will keep a note of if we continue further in the room we got another horror house so we can save that one for now and then a painting of a man on a horse uh, but we got to pay attention to the white building that's in the back of the painting that's going to be very important to distinguish it and if we run out and continue straight down the hall taking a left this one just has another horror house painting if we come out and take a left the first thing we see is a canvas with no painting on it that will be important opposite is a painting of a white house so we'll call it that and then next to it is a small painting painting or what looks like a pathway. Familiarize yourself with these paintings and these locations as this is very important. Once we activate the keypad, you only have 60 seconds to complete this step. So yeah, interacting with the computer is going to show you a sequence of four images from four different paintings. What you need to do is note the painting that the scrap belongs to and then also note the numerical equation either plus or minus straight after it for the four images. Now under every painting in the gallery now during the 60 seconds, will be a Roman numeral. Your job is to match the small image to each painting in the order that they appeared on the computer, look underneath them for the Roman numeral, convert that into a number, and then add or subtract based on what the computer showed. I'll explain it again and show it in action, but I also want to point out what painting each small image goes to, so I've made a very useful graphic. If this image appears, then it goes to this painting of the pathway, so you'd run and find that, look for the Roman numeral underneath. If it looks like this, then this this is just part of the haunted house painting. If you see this white building, this is in the back of the horse painting, which is why I said earlier to pay attention of that. If you see the image of the medals, it belongs to this painting in the main room. Now, if you see this image of this guy's face right here, this actually goes to the blank canvas on the wall that doesn't have a painting on it. This is a really nasty troll by Infinity Ward. I don't know why they've done it, but if you have that appear, don't worry. It's the missing painting. So just run over and look at the Roman numeral underneath. If it's this image, this is an image of a satchel on the painting that is also in the main room with the computer on the left side. If you get this image, this image is actually of a shoulder pad of this painting right here. And lastly, if you get this image, this image belongs to the painting that is purely of the White House building. I'll link all these images below in the description if you need to open them while you're playing a game and don't want to pause the video. But in our game, we started with the Haunted House minus two. The next image was the guy on the horse and because we've got an x where we normally would have a plus or minus we don't add or subtract anything next picture was the white house portrait with plus two and then finally we had the shoulder pad image with minus two looking at our haunted house painting we see the roman numeral for four we know that we have to minus two so this becomes two our second painting of the little white building was the guy on the horse and we know that that is five we don't have to add or subtract so that is five white house painting was the roman numerals for seven we needed to add two on that so that becomes nine and finally the portrait with the shoulder pads that's the roman numerals for six and the computer told us to minus two which gives us four so our code is two five nine four once you activate the computer to type the code in you have a very short amount of time before it kicks you off but to type the code in you're typing in the code but in two halves where the numbers have been sliced down the middle since our code was two five nine four we need to start the top line of code with the top of what the letters two five nine 
line four look like. So we enter those and then we fill them out with the bottom line of essentially connecting the bottom halves of it. If it wasn't obvious enough, if you don't get this done in 60 seconds, everything will reset. Your code will be different. Every numeral under the paintings will be different. You can simply enter the room, enter the code 2179 and you can try again. If you've put it in right, it will say subway override authorized on the computer. And now we need to go to the train station at the airport. Doesn't matter how you get there as long as you get there. Go underground on the station and make your way to this shut door on the platform. Open it, go up to the computer and hold interact to enter computer override. It's going to take a little while to reboot, but you'll be able to see and hear its progress. And when it's done, the computer screen will now change to show Verdansk subway authority with a maintenance train coming shortly. In this clip, here it is. And you can see it's right because the destination is maintenance, which is the secret train station. Once the doors are open, get off the platform and enjoy all of these incredible goodies. There are a ton of legendary crates. There is some awesome kill streaks that you can't find anywhere else in Warzone down here, including an advanced UAV, a juggernaut. And in one of the rooms on the platform is a brand new weapon blueprint for the Bruin called the Firebrand. As soon as you pick it up, it will be unlocked in your armory for you to use in the future in Warzone. And once you're done looting up, go to the other hidden room on the platform, interact with the computer, and it will set the train to depart, letting you go back to the Warzone map to continue the game. Now, some final tips is definitely do this in trios or quads is very difficult to do on your own. In my game, I had one person that was writing down everything the computer was showing, including the plus and minuses. And me and my other teammate ran around looking at the paintings to figure out which ones the computer showed and working out the numerals and then adding and subtracting. I definitely advise you run around, grab these numbers first before interacting with the computer, because if you're sat on that keypad for too long, it will kick you off and you'll need to go through that animation all over again to get back to the keypad. And when you are on the computer, Computer, writing down the four painting scraps that appear, it's great to have words associated with each painting. You can see that as visual text in this video, but when these scraps are focusing on certain parts of the paintings, it's very easy to give them some word associations, such as shoulder pads for the image of the painting with the guy with shoulder pads, or satchel when it's focused on the painting with the person with the satchel. Once you've got good word association with everything, it will be very easy for you to just note down what the computer's showing, run over to the painting things that it looked for, simply add up the Roman numerals and then add or subtract or add nothing to get your final code. If you don't complete it within the 60 seconds, you will die from the gas. Depending on what mode you're playing, re-enter that room, type in the code on the keypad again to activate the 60 second Easter egg timer, activate the computer and do everything again. Some of the rewards you get from this is going to be insane in normal war zone. Like you can get a specialist bonus to have every perk in the game, as well as a new item called Foresight, which lets you see the final circle from any point in the game. I really hope you found this useful. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating and subscribe, but I'll catch you in the next one.